time to tap tap and let's play QP shooting dangerous That's how you name a video Jane. This is um, another shoot 'em up by uh, Orange juice they make 100% orange juice the video game not the uh, product and uh, Sword sucks hold on this is a shoot 'em up or a cute 'em up specifically and um it's, um, well, let's just get right into the game first. I'm not the best at this. Um, one complaint I do have about Orange Juice's shoot 'em ups and games in general, they tend to be really hard and their easy mode is like a normal shoot 'em ups normal mode. Like it's not really a properly easy mode. They, they usually do not have that at all. And it's kind of a shame. In this game, there's um, there's a pretty nice mode called, uh, what was it, Conquest Mode, where you once you've beaten a level, you can save how many lives and how much score you have at the end of that, and continue from there. And it's kind of like Pikmin uh, 3's day system, where you can go back a previous day, and you will lose your progress after that day, but like... You know, if you need uh, to go back and get more lives, you can replay and start over from a specific point in time, and it's interesting. Um, I would kind of prefer a more properly easy mode, like I said, but uh, I think I can get to at least stage three. I've gotten to stage four on the conquest mode, but um, I'm still kind of stuck on that boss. It is the sort of thing where you get, uh, you know, like any shoot 'em up, you get better at it, and, and I can't change my formation. What? That's weird. This game has different save slots for, like, settings. And, uh, I don't know why, but this one, my... I can't change my weapon, so... Once I beat this first boss, I guess I'm gonna have to stop. Oh no, and, uh, dialogue skip is on too, that's bad. Um, oh well. This is just a little practice run, I guess. Oops. Yeah, this game does have some nice features, like you can dim the background. I believe it's already on the dim mode, so it makes it easier to detect the uh, bullets. Which, ow. They're usually nice and brightly colored. They look, they look kind of like cells, don't they? At least this particular boss's bullets. Also, you get... I think you get a bonus. For uh, beating a boss with a hyper. Hyper is your replacement for bombs. I think it just refills automatically over time. I'm not sure the stars you get actually matters for hyper. Um, but it increases your attack power. And if you're hit while in hyper, it deactivates hyper, but you don't lose a life. So it's kind of a duel. And it clears bullets once you activate it, but it doesn't continuously clear bullets. So it's sort of a combo special attack and bomb. But you can't stock them up, so you gotta be smart with them. Which is... Oops, I forgot. The boxes spray bullets. Oh well. So, I was missing a pretty critical feature while playing that. I don't really know why. Let me double check my options here. So, um... We want to turn off the conversation skip. I don't like motion blur. Darken background on. Controls. What is up with the controls? So formation change is how I told it to do things. Wait, maybe what's the formation change? Oh, I know, I know what happened. So there's two different ways you can change formations. And one is a single button cycles with through all of them, and the other is you press buttons to instantly toggle through one of the three. Uh, I prefer the instant toggle. Um, since we're back in the main menu, let's go to the Arbit room. Um, I really love uh, Orange Juice's characters. They're the there's this nice, slightly old school, animated looking thing. They're just all very cute. So uh, we get uh, Arbit formations with those little option sort of things that let us uh, attack. So you can buy new. I don't have enough to buy anything new now. But uh, you get about 100 to 200 points for beating any given level. So uh, a couple runs through arcade mode will usually get you uh, a new thing or something. And uh, 
They do different stuff. We, we'll see easy. I think I need to delete one of these settings slots with a sequential form change. Okay, a sequential form change sucks. I need to delete that. Um, orthodox. All right, playstyle's a thing too. So it's orthodox, aggressive, defensive. It basically just determines how long you stay in the uh, hyper mode. And I really think orthodox is pretty much the way to go. You deal more damage in aggressive, but it's really freaking short. So it's more like a traditional bomb where it clears bullets for just a second and then you're back to normal. Defensive lasts really long, but it doesn't seem to deal extra damage at all. I don't really know why, but it lets you pick whether you want to have sequential or individual or both. I really just try to leave it on both. See, so yeah, front is a pretty basic. I think freeway might be a good way to go. And I like back, and fire is sort of a, you know, concentrated burst thing for bosses. I tend to have that. It also has a slow down thing that lets you see your uh, hitbox. Pretty common. And uh, shoot them up. So yeah, now we can finally switch uh, weapon types. And certain formations will change up. Like, this one gets just a teeny bit more compact when we're in, in slow down mode. Also, this, this mode uh, slows us down in general. So there's some interesting effects certain uh, formations have. This one is nice because it gives us the wide range, but it lets us focus fire on something that isn't straight in front of us. Uh, the normal front, it deals wide area damage, but it's really weak and it's... You can't really aim anything but the main burst. And so I, I kind of... I haven't used this three-way too much, but I think it'll probably be more effective. And if you buy this game, I definitely recommend playing it on easy first. Uh, in my opinion... Unless you're like mega shoot 'em up master, there's almost never any reason to play shoot 'em up on anything but easy the first time. Uh, certain games are insanely easy on easy, and yeah, there's a reason to play those on normal. But generally speaking, you want to see how easy um, easy is before you bother. Like, on, like I just don't want to get frustrated when playing games. Um, so you know, like some people will play a game every game on the hardest difficulty for the start. And then they'll be like, why is this game so poorly balanced? I mean, you know, I'm losing all of the time. I'm just playing it on, you know, kill your family difficulty. But obviously I, the real gamer TM, can play on this and it should be balanced for a first time play, right? So this is the intense plot to this game. Um, QP is a dog and she wants pudding, but there's, there's no pudding. There's no pudding anywhere in sight. In fact, no one even seems to know what it is. What the heck is going on? The lore is so deep. I mustn't hesitate, even now. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. Hello? Is there anyone who knows of pudding? Anyone? Pudding? Someone? Anyone? Pudding? Am I just being stupid? It's possible. You are a dog. QP, you idiot! Blah. Sierra. Sierra, my dearest friend. Ex-friend, if you keep acting like that. How cruel! You're the cruel one. Ah! Your words cut me like a knife in my heart. As, as is typical in uh, cute em up fair, everyone fights for absolutely no reason. For over anything. Or nothing. Or both. You're too noisy this morning. Our deadline is looming, and we're already at the gates of death. As usual, we're just going to be stuck in the Indies ga Indie Games group. Never mind that. That's not why I'm here. Sierra, do you remember Pudding? Huh? Are the people who don't know of it? Sierra, you remember? Yeah, it's that small fry enemy in Final Fantasy. <laughs> well, it is. That's common sense to a gamer. That's not it. Huh? Sweet, soft, and delicious. It's the ultimate of sweets. What are you going on about? You don't remember after all. Sierra... I even shared my pudding because we were friends. What are you? So it's come to this, has it? I'll just have to beat some sense into you. Then you'll have no choice but to remember. That's how that's how memory works, my friends. Oops. I think I skipped like one dialogue box, but I was not expecting the slow down button to skip dialogue. But yeah, it's definitely a cute him up. So. Everyone's um, motivations are completely suspect and ridiculous. So you usually gain about one full charge through one like normal length of a boss. 
uh, or one section of a boss, so you generally don't want to spam your uh, hyper mode every single phase. You want to sort of save it up for the harder ones. But you also don't want to just completely forget to use it. Because it will make things easier. And uh, when the boss's enemies change health changes to orange, um, it takes double damage or something. Like, the blue is the defensive mode. In orange, that is when you're really supposed to be able to, like, actually hurt them. And usually a boss you aren't going to be able to beat in blue mode, but oops. Pico Deluxe! Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. I was playing this again anyway, so here's the dialogue you missed. Impressive, QP. You're good. You're pretty good. It's Pio's turn now. Sierra's powers go beyond hell itself. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh! Pico Deluxe! <clears throat> and then it's birds. For some reason, the slowdown button advances dialogue really fast. Which... Is annoying. Yeah, as always, the bosses have a desperation attack. That is their final thing. This is hers. And uh, the bosses get pretty tough. This is pretty. I would say the first level is pretty reasonable. Um, well, the difficulty curve is pretty normal. It's just my only complaint is that really the easy mode is pretty much what I would consider pretty normal. Um, shoot em ups are hard, and it's not insanely out of line, but I really do appreciate when shoot em ups have a nice, accessible, easy mode. Um, the conquest mode is more accessible because, you know, you can continue, but uh, it's not quite the same as just being able to credit feed either, which has its ups and downs. Q. So, Sierra, do you remember putting now? Poke. Pokemon. Games for brains? Ugh. Stage results. See, we got 125 R points there. On later levels, you get about 200. I'm wondering if you can get, like, 300 or 400 on, like, the last levels or something, maybe. So I can farm it a bit better. I've gotten a decent amount of powers, but most of them aren't too great. I would say the ones I'm using right now are the best I've found. And one of these, the front, the this one, I think might have been unlocked at the start. Could be wrong. But, um... Nothing's been super great so far. There's one that's a sword that where the R-bits just float in front of you and you, um, you know, hit him with a sword. But it doesn't seem to do more damage than a concentrated burst. Like, it's really hard to use, so I would think it would deal more damage than this attack here. Uh, but it seems to deal about, you know, it deals good damage, but it deals on par with other forward-facing attacks. And when you're using a melee attack in a shoot 'em up it should be, like insanely the best damage of all time because otherwise it's not going to be worth going into melee range like uh, Hidogata Hapa is a game that has um, melee attacks that are actually really good and um, even in a shoot 'em up because you know it's very risky but they deal crazy damage and it's really worth it um, it's you got to learn the play style but uh, it's pretty cool in this game so far the melee ones haven't seen worth it it just seems kind of like kind of gimmicky this three-way shot's really good though I'm really enjoying this See? It just, it does what the front fire does, but a lot better. Because generally, because you can aim it. And there's also some interesting stuff, like one lays a trap with the R-bits based on where you are when you activate it, and I haven't bought that one yet because they're a little expensive. Uh, this game also has an interesting, like, uh, not prestige, but like, Unlock based on if you played QP Shooting One, which I'm not sure is on Steam. Um, I just bought this because it looked cute and it was pretty cheap. Um, if you're not familiar with Orange Juice, like I said, they have a lot of these characters. They cross over in all sorts of different games from the same company. Uh, I really like their characters. They're all very cute and stuff like this. Uh, all very humor focused. Um, fairly difficult, but. Um, they're really cool uh, Japanese indie developer, uh, Daojin, that's called. Which some people think, like, Daojinshi, usually, like, an American will usually hear that in reference to, like, porn manga, but that's, n that's not what Daojin is related to. That just means independent. <coughs> Pudding is gone, even from the memories of everyone in existence. What in the world is going on? What the? Same. Hmm? Uh oh, it's Yaoi Boy. Q. 
Chipita, what are you doing here? Disguised as a woman? Disguised as a woman? Oh, please, we are both men here, and that's a fact. Admit it, crossdresser. You're mistaken, and rudely at that. Oh, how deplorable. For someone like Cupidia to dress like a girl, what trash you become? How dare you, sir? Ch trash Lovely flowers and muddy water. A spray of brutality. Listen to me, Cupidia. I have no idea get what this guy's deal is. You're not cute at all, right now. Stop looking like this. I am super cute, first of all. This is misunderstandings. Besides, I transcend cute. I'm a girl of absolute beauty. I was already angry. Surely you could hear me lamenting over pudding. But it's come to this. If you don't stop looking like this, I'll just have to stop you myself. I'll beat you down. Yeah, I don't... Everyone's just kind of crazy. Also, this music really reminds me of um, some Kirby boss music. Also, if you defeat an enemy, it usually erases the bullets that they sent out. Um, depending on which attack you use, like if I use the wide, the three-way shot, I could probably kill those green bird things. Also, you can destroy those laser things while they, uh, while they have the thin laser that you're not going to get hurt. But you have to be pretty quick, or else they'll, uh, they'll take you down. Have I really not taken a hit yet? I'm pretty impressed with myself. I decided I would just get over my performance anxiety and just play some shoot 'em ups because I have a whole bunch that I really want to show off and they're really good games, but um, you know I just have unreasonable performance expectations. Like uh, maybe I'll stream and try to beat some of them, but you know shoot 'em ups just require a lot of skill and practice and stuff. I don't really have a ton of time to practice. Oh dear, it's about to get steamy. This calls for good distraction. Oh no. Final attack! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, my. Get the kitties out of the room. This is too hot for TV. Uh, those big uh, lotus petals that he shoots um, can hurt you, but you can destroy them, so that's that's a big part of why the three-way shot's useful. With the uh, other thing, you don't tend to deal enough damage to break those unless they're in front of you. But this three-way shot's really good. Oh, I... Fuck! Oh, I was just about to press bomb! Phew, that was a rush. You've grown stronger, Cupidia. I told you before you're mistaken. I'll let that slide for the moment. All I'm really worried about is pudding. Same. I don't have any clues about this, but I have to try. Pudding, you said? Mister, you said you know about pudding? Nope, I don't know myself. But this morning I saw a woman going around yelling, Pudding, pudding. That was probably me. How suspicious. Er, so where is this person? Hmm, I don't want to make eye contact with her, so I'm not sure, but I think she was heading towards the town circus. Clue get! Thanks a lot, mister. <laughs> so you're leaving behind, Cupidia. Yeah, they have other games called 100% um, Mixed Juice, which you or er, 100% Orange Juice, which you've probably heard about. Um, is like a Mario Party slash card game, which I've heard is very... Enjoyable slash rage inducing. Um, I haven't played it yet, but I do have it. And um, all of 100% Orange Juice's games come with free DLC for um, basically you get the protagonist of the game that you buy in that game, which is a neat little bonus. It's kind of what I offer. Oh, it's kind of what I thought they should do with like an amiibo game on um, Wii U. Like you buy a thing and you can, you know, play with that character in it. But I never really did that. I'm kind of glad that Amiibo, like, I think Nintendo finally understands that people buy Amiibo because they want Amiibo, not because they want, you know, physical DLC. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just a neat little bonus that you get. Um, and their games are usually pretty cheap. So, like, all right, this is one of those character. This is one of those formations that changes when you uh, go to slow mode. Which is really nice. Anyway, yeah, when you buy a new uh, Orange Juice game, you usually get their character in 100% uh, Orange Juice. They also have 200% Mixed Juice, which um, has uh, all of their characters once again. But uh, instead of being a party game, it's like an RPG card game. And it's kind of like Pokemon Rock, Paper, Scissors. There's three elements. And... 
they're straight up rock, paper, scissor elements. And, uh, but there's special effects on cards and stuff. It's pretty cool. I wanted to do a video for that too. I couldn't find like a good part of the game to show. I think I'll probably just show off the very start of the game. I don't like this phase of this boss. It's not like unavoidable, but it's, damn it. Yeah, y you can see why I don't like it now. Also, when you take damage, you lose two Arbits, the little, um, the options to my side there. But, uh, they seem to come back almost instantly upon scoring. Alright, and that was just a side boss. I, I, I fairly often take a hit to him, that's why I try to... I should have waited for his thing to go down to, uh, orange. If the enemy's health is an orange and you use your hyper mode, you will usually defeat, uh, a boss, a boss phase, that is. But then, of course, you won't have Hyper for the start of the next phase, which can sometimes still be a problem. Also, since you get Hyper multiple times per uh, stage, you really should use it. I've been kind of naughty and forgetting to use it. This part of the stage gets pretty messy. Also, I kind of... While playing the stage, I kind of had a revelation. I wonder if people who got raised with video games like, are afraid of clowns and, like, carnival stuff more often, because it always seems like carnivals and stuff are really sinister in video games. Like, I can think of a lot of situations like Dark Cloud 2 and just lots of stuff where clowns are the bad guys. And I'm not sure if that was really a thing before, like, my generation. Because it mostly seems like millennials and so on are the ones traumatized by clowns, and they are freaky. Like, I'm not too much of a scaredy cat, but clowns are pretty screwed up stuff, and it's like, why is why would this be, like, funny or cute or whatever? Oh, this is one thing where the three-way isn't as good. Because I think almost any amount of damage will kill these, but, nah, it's not really a big deal. We are obviously going into the tent. I think this boss gave me a little bit of grief, but uh, this must be that place that guy was talking about. Also, if you play lots of orange juice games, you'll tend to recognize people, especially their more silly ones. They have some more serious ones like Sora. That was very dramatic, but uh, a lot of the silly ones will have lots of crossovers and you'll, you'll still have to recognize characters. Oh, so you've come. Who's there? Pudding. <gasps> so you know of Pudding, the seductive fruit bathed in deep darkness. I, I don't think that's Pudding. Its existence brings happiness to people, but confusion to the world. Uh-oh, she's chuny. Not really sure what you're saying, but it seems like, like you know pudding. I wonder, perhaps you could say I do. It is not transcribed in the mind of this chrysolaris, only in that of the great god of darkness that I worship. I need a translation. Please, someone translate. I don't actually know anything about pudding, but my boss does. Thanks, Mr. Rabbit. Who's there now? Be that as it may be. Right now, could you take me to this boss of yours? We'll have a duel. If you win, I'll show you the way. Otherwise, you can always treat me to a rice dinner. I haven't had a single grain in over three days. Win and show the way, or just treat us to rice. I mean, I think rice is a lot easier than fighting. I don't need a translation for that one. Oh, I'd have preferred to handle things peacefully if possible, but you see, I don't have any money. <laughs> Uh-oh. I just brought a sweet roll with my last 100 yen a while ago. Then what are you going to do about pudding? Pudding isn't free. That will do just fine. Fermented wheat filled with red bean paste. I already ate it. <gasps> Death to you. <laughs> just like that? No questions asked? So yeah, this is our sort of casino boss. I'm not really sure what the deal is with this. Um, I never found... <gasps> Um, the cage seems to deal damage and steal some Arbits, and you can destroy the gate, the cage, if Arbits are stuck in it, but being trapped seems to be the bigger problem, so you just kind of want to let the things land on the extreme edges of the screen, I guess? Anyway, it wasn't a problem there, because I'm used to it, but... <laughs> Alright, this is a weird one. She kind of dances with her doll, and then, you know, dolls fly around the whole screen. Yeah, regarding the formations, by the way, I think the Arbits seem to always deal about the same amount of damage. 
But, um... Uh, this might have been a mistake. I always get antsy with that one because of the swords, but as long as you're constantly moving, they won't hit you. But her final attack is pretty rough. Wait. Is this the one I'm thinking of? Oh, no, it's not. No, the one I'm thinking of, I think this must be a later... No, th that's the next boss. The next boss is really rough. Um, because the next boss has uh, this roulette attack that I'm thinking of that's uh, a lot more dangerous. I think dealing... Yeah, hitting that hurts her too. Alright. Not too bad. This is honestly... My life is fading away. I'm dying. Before you die, please take me to your boss as quickly as possible. Heresy. Say what you want, but I want to go right to the pudding. Our dark god is over there. Yikes, so it's that simple. Go and see for yourself. Stand. Go with haste. All right. I just remember, I have some candy in my pocket. You can have it. A present. <gasps> Farewell. Drama queen. What sweet bliss. I wouldn't mind burning in heaven like this. I'm dying of deliciousness. See, 250 R points. The rewards increase pretty significantly for the R points. Oof. For some reason, some of the stages have a little bit of lag when they start up. It's not a big deal, but uh, it still kind of scares me every time. So yeah, this three-way... I think the three-way is part of why I'm doing so well. It uh, really has great coverage without... Um, but still does damage. It's very aimable. Oh, and I forgot if I mentioned this, uh, but there's also this later game in the series. There's a first one called QP Shooting 1. Um, I'm not sure if this is an enhanced port of that or what. I didn't see it on Steam. It could be. I'm not sure. Uh, but there's also Xmas Shooting Scramble, which I did a video with that in it. Not really a video on that game, but uh, for when I was doing a podcast around Christmas, I uh, mentioned it, or I showed some footage of it. Um, that game, you can import your progress in this game into that game, so you can have all of your R-bit formations from this game. That's really cool. That's why I've been playing this game first, because I just want to import that. Because, you know, it'll basically half the time I spend grinding. Um, that that could have hit me. I, for some reason, I never notice when these things are barreling down towards me. Even though they're, like, really obvious. I don't know, I just got the good old-fashioned brain damage. Uh-oh. I, I always kind of forget I have hyper mode, and I'm kind of remembering it now. I actually really like hyper mode relative to, like, normal bomb stuff, because I, I never feel bad for casting hyper mode. Well, because it comes back. So if I'm in a tight situation, whatever, why not just spend it? And we're already to the boss. Well, a boss. There's a lot of bosses in this one. Uh, I think the boss after this boss is the final boss, but I, I don't know. There's just a lot of bosses. Shoot 'em ups tend to like multiple bosses. Also, one annoying thing about, um, well, Japanese indie games in general, they tend very often uh, designed for 480p, um, which is useful for pixel art and stuff, but it ends up with weird artifacts. Like, I don't know if you can tell this, but in, like, there's a weird line in the, like, three fourths of the way down on the screen on the, on the left. You can see on the, um, on the sort of wallpaper. Ah, oh, I was just about to hyper! That always feels like the freaking worst. Um, but yeah, there's some unclean stuff, and you know, obviously the art isn't actually 1080p, even though I'm playing 1080p. I like that cat, the girl with the cat paw. She's shaped like a friend. So yeah, these aren't actually really super dangerous. Like, those explosions will kill you, but it's moderately hard to actually end up being hit by them. This this part of the fight is really the f oh, come on yeah I, I'm still a little bit bad at casting the hyper <laughs> QP I thought you'd come Yuki I had a feeling it was you you were the one behind this after all <laughs> we're not gonna beat this boss spoilers why would you erase pudding from existence how could you. Say something, please! Shut up! I just noticed she's a cat girl. I guess that's why we're enemies, because I'm. Kipi's a dog. I always thought she was a cat, but I guess she's a, a dog. Which makes me like her slightly less, but she's still good. 
I don't need to explain anything to you. If you really love pudding so much, then express it through sheer, sheer loving force. I like your little grin. Why can't I play as the cat instead of the dog? Why do you do this to me? Ah, no, already? <laughs> yeah, she's really hard. I Even in the conquest mode, I'm stuck on that boss. Um, yeah, I'll show you how conquest mode works real quick, but that's pretty much how this works. Um, so yeah, in conquest mode, I'm on stage four still. Um, in conquest mode, you're kind of locked into your options. So I'm really glad I picked both form changes, though really it doesn't take too hard to get back to where I was. You know, you just saw me do it right there. Um, but yeah, you can start right from stage four here. But if I took damage in stage five, which I or stage three, which I did, um, I see I start with three lives here instead of I could potentially have four, I think, if um, from uh, score extends. But uh, I took a couple hits, so I could go back and replay those stages not take those hits, and then I could start the, sp the stage with four health, and I should probably do that, because uh, I'm pretty stuck at this boss. And this is the sort of game, like, shoot 'em ups in general, like, it seems like, you know, that boss is really hard. Well, I, you didn't even, you barely even saw. Also, this this is the front and back shot that I was talking about earlier. The, they're very wide, but they deal a lot less damage, so it feels a lot less effective. Um, so I'll probably redo my conquest save here, and uh, go and um, what a freaking over dramatic name for um, <laughs> for a cute em up, too. Yeah, let's see. I think we can buy. Yeah, we can probably buy a new formation. One annoying thing about the shop is you can only see the description of a thing um, when you have enough money. So like, I can't see what the bringer is. I can only see what the wiper is. And that's two swords to the left and right. And the swords seem really bad. And I don't think it actually wipes bullets like the name might suggest. The trap seems really interesting. Yeah, this position, this formation. So yeah, it's like it sets a trap, like you might expect. Uh, which is not how you usually see these things. But I don't know if it's really worth it. Also, I really don't know what that star plus two thing means. Wait, let's see what twin tail is. Two locations, front diagonal, rear diagonals. Angle attack can be changed with movement. But the direct rear is often a weak point. Alright. It seems like my other thing, the back, might be better. So there's basically just all sorts of different formations we can get here. I think I have a pretty good set of them. But I've only got a little under half, I think. And they get pretty expensive. Also, there's trophies. There's chivos you can get. It's, I don't know what most of them are because I don't have them, but uh, I got this one for not taking any hits in stage one. I guess that's pretty good. I guess I've taken a hit in every single stage. I guess, I think that includes hyper, taking a hit in hyper. Yeah, here's the, that transfer option. Now you can see your replays and uh, scores and stuff as usual. So yeah, that's QP shooting danger. Let's take a quick look at the manual. That's... You know, your first... It does do a good job. It explains all of this stuff like this. You know, there's bullets, lasers, green star, hyper mode, won't erase them, but hyper mode will protect you with them briefly. See, it does a good job of explaining things. But, uh, yeah, that is QP Shooting Dangerous. I'll probably play Christmas Shooting Scramble um, sometime soon. It's, it's a Christmas game, and it's not Christmas, which is a horrible sin, but it's just a good, cute shoot-em-up. And uh, you can play those any time of the year. It's got a bunny. I mean, if you don't like games with bunnies, you're, I'm not sure you're legally a person. And uh, I feel pity for your miserable soul.